Welcome loves to the Pleiadian and Arcturian messages for February 2023. We allowed January to just be a integrative month, especially after the December sort of 2023 collective messages and energies that might be coming in this year and within the next few years. We just wanted all of that to settle into the being. <laughs> this year is really all about grounding and feeling into your own rhythms and returning to sort of a natural cycle that really fits our energy and our frequency as energetic beings. So thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in and opening your beings to these messages. Pleiadians. Messages for February 2023. Hello and welcome. We'd like to talk about sensory sensitivity as well as spiritual sensitivity. Your senses may feel overloaded and overstimulated at the moment. Everyone is still assimilating to the rise of energy and vibration. Our message of grounding will continue throughout 2023. We want to touch upon plant medicines, as you call them. A tool that has helped people tune back into a multidimensional self and a spiritual sense of life these have been great aids over the years. However, there is a calling to lower the use or use in microdoses, as you would say. This is not a caution from us, but something we see in the collective on Earth. There is such a rising in vibration and spiritual gifts that plant medicines won't be needed as often or in such high of doses. Their use will still be a big part of the awakening and our spiritual tools for evolution. What we are speaking to is humans won't need them as often and in large amounts. Rather, smaller quantities and in moderation will be a new normal for a lot. Those that are still in need of large doses will be called to it. However, for people that are already highly sensitive, it could be overwhelming or disorientating as the months and years continue. Some tools for highly sensitives or those feeling extra sensitive. Let the earth be your guide. Your nervous system needs to regulate and you all still need tools to integrate the new frequencies. We speak of this a lot as it could be a shock to people or alarm them. Nature and the natural ways will help in integration, as we've said in the past. Also, water and communicating to it. Water is a holder of frequency and information. As humans have a vast amount of water that gets energetically coded every day through your thoughts, feelings, words, and the sounds, voices, and people you surround yourself with. Say the affirmation, I am holding these heightened frequency with ease and love. My cells are integrating and grounding these energies each day. Allow your words to code the waters, to integrate and better serve you through the times. For this month in particular, there is a neutrality around truth landing into place. Harsh perspectives and dualities still exist and are more potent upon the planet. But this is the month where the groundwork for greater harmony and neutrality are being laid down. There is a lot of new perspectives or shifts happening. A light opening to a more evolved perspective rather than harsh, rigid boxes. Things are becoming more fluid. This could make people feel confused as humans can identify with perspectives as a sense of self. We invite the identification with opinions to soften is the best word we could use to describe it. Let it open a little more. Let there be a little more openness and leeway for more fluidity. We are not talking about one category or topic. 
we are speaking to an array of opinions in many different areas. There tends to be a lot of seeking for truth and who is right or what is right. This system will again become more fluid, in a more neutral space, not denying your own truth or the truth of others, but a space of balance, a middle ground. We want to share that for this awakening, a lot of subtle shifts are taking place at the moment. A lot behind the scenes is happening, shifting, falling, and reworking. However, it may feel as if life is continuing at a slower pace. You will be able to feel, see, and understand the subtle shift as they arise through the months. As for February, it is a soft and subtle energy shifting in small ways to allow big change upon planet Earth. There are ancient ways resurfacing at this time to aid humanity to return to a solid connection to their own cycles and rhythms. An example is the correct sound frequency of 442 hertz and that of the ancient calendars that flow with the seasons to allow for humans to recharge, to feel in tune and empower rather than off, confused, disconnected from their true ways of being. This will continue to integrate into society and be the true teachings that will guide humans. We will talk to you next month, your Pleiadian brothers and sisters. Your Pleiadian brothers and sisters. Arcturians. Messages for February 2023. Stability and building foundations for the future. In this rocky time, grounding is important, yes. We also want to share the rebuilding and creating of new foundations for you to be able to fully flourish in the coming years. This is on a global scale as well as an individual one. I'm sure over the past three to four years, you have gone through some shakeup of your foundations. Jobs not working out, ideas and creations not coming to fruition, homes and environments becoming more discerning or aligned. If you haven't gone through a shakeup upon your foundations, you may have already dealt with this in the earlier years. For those of you feeling a bit rocky and unaligned in your foundations, this will be the year that changes and shifts for you. But as long as you are open to change that is in alignment with your highest self and highest soul contracts, everything will realign to your correct path and timeline. There may also be timeline hopping this year. This will be a subtle event that happens on an individual level that you may not be aware of. It occurs when you shift into a new reality and make certain choices that redirect you on a new timeline and path. A suggestion to help you if you feel concerned or confused about choices or timelines. Always say, I choose the path and timeline that is in alignment with my highest self. I choose the path and timeline that is in alignment with my highest self. This way it will always be correct for you where you choose to go. The emotional body is healing and on an individual level and collective level, wounds as you would call them are being expressed and allowed to be integrated. Again, in a subtle way, February doesn't have a large charge to it. Everything is on a very energetic level as you slowly build, recreate, heal, and open a new time on Earth. Throughout February, there is a focus on the emotional realms and the heart chakra, a lot of focus on unconditional love, emotional expression, and healing. This will take place in a gentle way compared to bulk healing that was occurring in 2022. Take this month to slow down and listen to the center of your being, to resonate within. As Earth slowly enters a more active spring energy, utilize February as a time to sit in stillness, express any emotions, 
and allow spring to arrive on its own timing. Not rushing your nature, thank you. From the Arcturian Council. Thank you so much for being here, my loves. Take this time, take this moment to allow all of that information, all of that activation to just sink into every cell of your being. If it did not resonate in the mind, it probably resonated within your heart or within your field. These activations also work on a very subtle energy level. I hope you enjoy the rest of your February and we will see you in March. Aho, and so it is.